Uh, hi folks. Um, fracking disaster. Very much a disaster at the minute because we've got to get it ready for a show at uh, Milton Keynes uh, in February. Um, obviously, if you watch the programme, uh, the Great Model Railway Challenge, you'll see that uh, we got through uh, only to the first round. But um, still a good experience. So at any rate, the plan is now is to put everything back as it was for the program and then on the uh, 15th and uh, I believe it's the 16th of February uh, take this to the model row exhibition in Milton Keynes um, unfortunately now the uh, reservoir doesn't drain away anymore we've got a, a major leak underneath the layout and so what we're possibly going to do there is just fill this up with um, uh, that's static water because obviously it's going to ruin the layout if we start filling it back up with uh, real water again. Uh, we have plans for the sinkhole. Uh, we're not quite sure what we're going to do with that yet, but um, we've got a few plans to make it work quicker. We're getting there with the layout. I mean, to be fair, th there's not a lot to do. Um, we need to sort the roadway out because that is not working properly. Um, it may be lifting the road and either painting it in and sorting it out. Um, the Fala car obviously does still work but we've obviously got to get it sorted out. The, the van that runs and disappears down the sinkhole. Um, quite a lot of ballasting to do in, in some of the places what we lost on the way back from Forley Hill in the back of the van. But um, other than that I think the electric side of everything is working okay and I don't think we're going to have any issues. This is actually the first time I've been able to put the layout up um, in my conservatory. To do that I've had to get rid of a sofa bed that luckily my brother-in-law had. So the layout is now up and complete. The floors are not quite level so we've got a few issues there but I'm sure that when we get to Milton Keynes we can sort this all out and everything hopefully will work okay. Um, I have to, I've taken this signal out, you may have seen this on the programme, not working properly. Um, I've removed that now and I'm going to wire it in as I've got the uh, signals, uh, train tech signals wired in on the uh, Spenchley Junction uh, and these are the ones who obviously what are in Stanbridge for at the top of the garden um, the, these are going to be direct wired, it, it's much easier um, the, uh, there was another signal just here that unfortunately got broken on set um, what is um, a two aspect with a route indicator now train tech have been really kind and they've given me another signal to replace this signal and a couple of the detailing kits so hopefully we should be able to reinstall this signal and you shouldn't then see it working as it should have worked on the Great Model Railway Challenge but as I say it did get damaged. Um, as you can see here um, there is the actual fracking tower has been covered over because one I have three cats and they're a bit inquisitive and they may go investigating and the last thing I want them to do is get hung up on this blooming great screw coming out of the layout. Um, lots to do but it's getting there and I've got well over a month to sort this all out so um, it's just a matter of making sure everything works all the points still turn okay um, so we've not got a problem there I've been cleaning the track as well today because a bit of time showing it where it's been stored away but um, yeah it's getting there the show we're doing in February will be the first time that this layout will be shown uh, since we were on TV back in September with this so come along have a look and I know Ian Rowe's going to be there what was on the very first series of the Great Model Railway Challenge and it's very strange because they were on the first series and they were lay their layout was the first layout to be shown um, on the Great Model Railway Challenge and to be judged on the first actual um, day uh, on the actual judging this layout was exactly the same this got judged on the second series and this was the first layout to be shown so you'll see um, if you've watched the series you'll know that we actually won the scrap build challenge uh, the houses at the moment are not on, it, on here at the moment but they will be and they will be back on here and you'll see the smoke coming out the chimneys and um, the hammock's still here on the layout over here I'll put a little guy back in that um, it was quite good Tim seemed to like the idea of that any road um, that's all for now so I will keep you updated on how this is progressing and what we're going to do and there you go. This will be uh, hopefully um, rebuilt and will actually work absolutely fine and 
Only time will tell. I can't see there's too many problems. There's just a few little bits to sort out. But we can do that. It's not a problem. Okay. From Ron from Spencer Junctions, Danbridge Ford, and a fracking disaster. We'll catch you later.